Hello everybody, yep, welcome to the, uh, it's David the Gamer here, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, so, uh, this is it, this is the final mission of the Willem Wallace campaign, the final mission of the Willem Wallace slash tutorial campaign, so this would be the final tutorial, um, the Battle of Falk book, Mission 7, and once this is done, that's it, you essentially know how to play the game, everything has been covered. You know, so this would like, you know, I think this is where you build a castle, have unique units, and maybe go to Imperial Age. I don't know. So this is the, this is it. The last one, of course, this will be a, a dramatic end to the story. A little bit of historic inaccuracy here. I don't think the Scots won this battle. I don't think they lost, but it says that they won, but that's all right. Just, it's a fun game. It kind of gives you an idea what's going on. So anyway, um, let's just... Let's just get started. Once again, this is the, the final one. And after this, I'll play other campaigns So, and standard games. So, Battle of Farfolk, let's go. Here we go. The only way that we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself is sworn to join our forces. Together, we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. Alright, you excited all? This is it, the final one. Hmm, where will my cat one? Where my warrior cat go? Hmm. All right, so main object, build a castle, build a castle and destroy the English castle. So I'm going to build one, knock one down. Hence, Scott, to be restricted to a population limit of 100. Okay, the scenario uses advanced commands, you know, uh, you don't have to use this interface to play, but they do provide access to more powerful ways to control the civilization. And different civilizations have different strengths. For example, Scots, who are represented by the Celtic civilization, have a fast and powerful infantry. The British, of course, have long range archers and scouts. Scouts put blue, uh, Scots will fight the final battle against the English at Falkirk. The independence relies on it. News has spread that William Wallace, ah, finally, William Wallace is in this. I forgot to mention that. Is on his way. Uh, I know he's been missing this whole time. Where has been William Wallace? Well, it's all right. Um, it, never listen. What, what, it's, the campaign is named William Wallace, even though you don't really control him. It's all right. Um, so, Will Wallace is on his way. He's um, expected to arrive for his ship. The English, of course, Red, have a very strong presence in the south. They will launch raids on your land. They will bring in infantry and their fearsome longbowmen to the field of battle. So, alrighty then. Let's let's do this. Um, once again, all it is just build a castle and destroy the castle. Let's do this. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Airlock. Okay, so English attack. Oh, wait, wait, let me just check my uh, audio real quick. I hope my audio has been okay this whole time. I guess it's all right. It seems a little low, but I don't just want my voice. Okay, all right. I guess it's all right. Maybe I should have had the, all right. Okay, so English should attack it. Build a castle, so we have to build a castle. So, uh, why don't we do that? Let's build a castle. Uh, where should we build a castle? Why don't we, uh, where would be a good place for it? Where would be a good place for the castle? Maybe, how about right here? Kind of close to the, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, where, where's the castle? You can also oh, build towers to duh. defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection. And archers can even fire out of a tower. You know, I just realized I'm still in the feudal age. I was just about to build a castle. I was like, wait a minute, something's up right here. I have to get in the castle age to buy, uh, build a castle. Castle age, very definitely powerful. So, all right, let me get all my idle, lazy villagers. Come on, everybody, get to work. And, uh, maybe, uh-oh. Um, so I do have a few soldiers right now. And, uh, um, you know, you know... Once again, I'll put them in defensive mode. Yeah. Um. Cut. Wait, 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 wait. All right. 
kid. Let's get all Bit my here. infantry together. That's what I like to do. Get all my infantry together in one. All right. Um. Okay. So all my soldiers. I'm gonna put them in a defensive mood too, so I don't. I always go in defensive. Sometimes I go. I go in aggressive mode once I know the enemy is beaten. But I like to use defensive because that way my guys won't run into a castle and get themselves killed. And sometimes, like you don't know what's going on, and you might be at one place in the map, you might be in one area of the map concentrating the villagers or doing something, while another place like uh, your infantry will go automatically attack a castle and get themselves killed. So, all right. Anyway, um. First off, let's uh, let's improve our resources and get more resources. And um, this has all been explained before, and I'm pretty sure of it. And, yeah, I'm working on it. All right, so um, I improve my technology. Then, where well, am I being attacked? You know, I know maybe I can knock. If you some. have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. Mm -hmm. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age, yeah. the castle age. Bit fear. Uh, so somewhere I'm being attacked. I think they're attacking one of my outposts, but where, where exactly? Uh, it's trying to find what. Where, um, where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? The advanced buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes nearer. That's what I mean. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons in the lower left corner of the screen. Okay, so Using the advanced yeah. buttons, you can also command a soldier to patrol Bargain an area between two points Fall and guard mid. or follow another unit. Hmm. Okay, so I... Yeah, I mean, these are all the advanced buttons, and you can, you know, just like sort of a... Um... Hmm. I mean, I, I use these here and there, but it's just like, you know, Duncut. Tall. you know, there's all sorts of things, you know, F okay, follow, okay, see, so there you go, follow, guard, all sorts of things, you know, it, I mean, it's self-explanatory, like, the advanced can... buttons allow access to a new type of formation, mm -hmm. for example, with Bargain a box it. formation, you can protect a weak unit, such as a monk, okay, there you go, so, uh, we're going to box formation there. Yep. There are all sorts of things you can do. This is the advantage. You don't really need to use it, but sometimes it helps. Like, I use it just like defensive stance, because defensive stance is really quite helpful. Like, you know, right here, that's what I use. Aggressive is like, you know, you can pursue enemies all, but they might land to a castle. Stand ground is kind of close to defensive, but anyway, uh, so guard, follow, attack, move. So this guy, this guy can follow. Look at this guy. Uh, you know. Okay, so there we go. Alright, anyway, let's, um... Let's see if we can advance to the... Not quite yet. Uh, Alright, let's let's um, buy some food at the market. And, uh... You have enough get... resources to go to the castle age. Right. You should do that soon. Alright, that's why I bought some food to, you know, get enough food to advance to the castle age, which we're doing now. Okay. Um, now I think there are enemies attacking some of my outposts around here. I don't know exactly where. Outposts are a really big deal, but you know, not a well. Only thing is, outposts just gives you, uh, you know, let, let you know if any any activity, any outposts, any let you know if any any enemy activity. Sorry, and you know, like, let you know what's going on. Oh, I just saw an enemy there. Let's uh, all right, so let's put them all in defensive. Who is that little shit? Right, and meanwhile, I'm missing to the castle age. Um, where did that little shit go? I saw an enemy soldier. I don't know where he went. That's alright. Um, so, advancing to the castle age. It takes a little bit of time. That's why I, did, I figured I'd just do this one video on its own. Because it might be a little more lengthy than the last video, the last couple of videos. It takes a little more time. But, you know, it is what it is, and I'll just have to think of, like, uh, time and things. Should I make some future videos together, like some future missions all in one, like one to two missions per one video, or just maybe one particular, some particular missions have to lengthy do the mission in just one video. And some of these missions can be rather long, and I might, I might even use cheat codes. Yeah, I admit it. 
Some of these missions take such a long time. And, and... You're going to find lots of things to do in the Castle Age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Now, now, as soon as I, I'm, whenever you see a blink, and that's where I can be attacked. So there, there's a, I'm, I'm going to take care of these guys. Kid? Who do you think you're messing with? Like, right, oh. Let's get these guys real quick. Oh. There's a monk. Okay, so now what I do? Build a siege. Alright. I'm gonna make two more villages. First, let me Kid? take care of these guys. I don't like them messing around my outposts. Oh, here you go. You're done. Alright, here we go. Battle time. That's alright. Take care of them. Take care of these fools. Oh, I think there's a. Oh, God, Longbow, man. That's the British unique unit, Longbow, man. They're scary. They really pack a wall of eye. Alright, so. Now. What I want to do now is. uh, Alright, so let's build a castle. Let's build a castle. Like, let's build a castle right now. And we'll, we'll put a castle You may right need there. to assign extra villagers to gather stone, there. so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you need. All right, so we're going to build the castle right now. Simultaneously, let's do some upgrades. And, uh, we'll, let me get the clip that so I don't run out of... Um, okay. Buy a little more food. All right. Um, always run out of food so easily. Uh, how about... Mm. Alright. So, okay, there we go. Another one of my outposts being attacked? Oh, right here. Alright, so let's put them in defensive mode. And here they're building the castle right here. Maybe I should have put it in a better place. That's all. I figured it'd probably be the most. Maybe it can cover both openings. Cover this opening and cover that opening. I thought it might be the best place to put it. So it should be. Damn trees might obstruct it a little. That's all right. For the sake of. That's all. You can build a castle anywhere. It doesn't matter. Well, not quite anywhere. I mean, if it's like obstructing something, then you can't. But. Hmm. Get that castle going. Have love. Oh. Hmm. Almost done. Yeah, I think that uh, maybe I should have got more villagers to help with this match. I great. Ah, you have completed the castle. So William should be here soon, and then it will be time to attack the English. Yeah, there we go. Air love. So, all right. Meanwhile, I think I'll maybe I'll. Uh, Wallace has come. Oh, ah, Will Wallace. There he is. Will, Will, Will Wallace is somewhere here. Targeted fear. Finally, finally get the control of Will Wallace. After all this time, where is he? Avalon. There he is, Will Wallace. Braveheart oh. himself. Oh, holy oh. shit, look at the size of this damn sword. Bid there fear. he is, folks, Will oh. Wallace. All right, oh, uh, a couple polite and, uh, you know, very powerful oh. knights. Okay, there we go. Anybody else on the ship? Guess not. Alright, follow One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more ward raiders. I'm right. Ten more road. Okay, then I'm gonna bring Will and Wallace up with my other guys. Put them right there. Alright. The joint forces. So, ten road raiders. Okay, we're... But first, uh... Uh... First, let's create a university. I don't know if it's a... Oh, uh, never mind. Bead fear. Right, Bead fear. So ten road waiters. Okay, so here we go. So click in the castle. Oh, you can see a pretty good after. And here are the road waiters. So I'm gonna hit shift. Shift and oh, can't get uh damn, don't have enough resources for ten road waiters, but that's alright. We'll get there. Maybe I can sell a little stone. Uh um so, uh, so we got. Damn, still up. We're low on resources, damn it. That's alright. Maybe I was a little overzealous, and that's okay. Um, so, 10 road waiters. Ball paid. 
Fargere. Oh, looks like uh, my pods are here. here. With William Wallace and his wood raiders on your side, the English may be in trouble. Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, England. go destroy the English castle. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, lumber. Let's sell a little stone. I'm just like low on resources, sadly. Um. So, hmm. Damn it. Ah. I'm low on resources, man. All right, so I'm gonna. All right, there we go. So okay, so I need ten road waiters again, right? All right. Um. Hmm. Maybe I'll just make a. Uh, no I wonder I'm low on food. I don't have many farms. Rob uh, Wigger. Here we go. All right, so hmm. I don't have a lot of villages actually. Maybe that's part of the problem. But uh, so I got ten road waiters, right? How many do I have now? Um. Erlof, bid fear. That's like a three, I guess. So I need seven more, I think, and, uh... So, okay, I need seven more. Uh, you know, don't need much gold, but I need more food, that's for sure. Uh, alright, let's just sell more, um, More food. Alright, so ten road waiters, uh, One, two, three, four... God damn it, come on, man. Ah. Really getting screwed with. Alright. Did I do this campaign the right way? Uh, that was a Celtic, Scottish. Uh, kind of looks like Braveheart, doesn't it? Huh. Yep, there we go. Scottish unique unit, Rogue Blader. Um, even like when you, you can even cut it slide to like. You know, click the castle and like, you know, road waiter. There you go. Oh. What's going on over here? Oh, they're attacking my outpost. Not a big deal. Alright, I just really want to get more. more. Jesus, man. What the? Kid? This is a pain in the ass, fear. man. I just like. What? Give them that many resources, you know? Alright. Let's use the market again. I try not to use the market too much because ultimately it can kind of cheat you. All right, but I think we're getting close to 10 road waiter. And of course, we'll probably have to. Uh, I haven't even got the blacksmith part yet, but probably have to do a siege, uh, take down the castle, siege workshop. Siege workshop. Okay, but I think we're just about. How many road waiters do we have now? So how do you say it? Wade waiters? All right, um, okay. Alright. Uh, Alright, one, two, three. Uh, how many do we have? Okay. Four. Uh, I guess we. That's six, I guess? Maybe four more, I guess? Alright. Uh, of course, I'm low on food. Good three. Okay. Four more. One, two, three, four. Three, four. All right. Hopefully that will be it. All right. I'm gonna pop out right here. Hmm. <laughs> I should save the game at this point. Like so much is that line, but I should be all right. I've beaten this before. Is that? I think that's. I think we have enough road. I think. All right. I think. All right. Let's just do one more. I'm pretty sure we have enough. All right. Um. So, okay, why don't we, uh, what I'm going to do is now, um, first I should, you know, upgrade my blacksmith, uh, oh man, as usual, I don't have anything, um, I'm going to upgrade everybody for sure, alright, okay, hmm, definitely, uh, just need more food. 
See, that's it. Prices get higher. The more you buy, the more you can get more. That's that's why I try to not use it too much. Sometimes. Okay, so basically, I don't think I need any. Uh, just mostly infantry here. All right. A couple of knights too. Go figure. Um. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, all right. Maybe upgrade my knights real quick too. Um. Maybe sell a little stone. I don't know, gold. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade the knights, and that should that should do it. Hmm. All right. So, hmm. let's get my your shoe because I wanna. All right, so we, we, we're getting there. I, I don't think we're too far off from perhaps destroying the English castle. I don't think we're that far off. We, I mean, we have a pretty fairly good army. I think we have enough road waiters. Didn't really say, oh. You're all done, I don't know. Um, so, hmm. But where the hell is the English? Oh, I think it's right around here, okay. You know, the, uh, for what it's worth, like, you know, building the castle and stuff, the, uh... And there's a scenario, like, the enemy really, the British, they really don't come after you, they don't come after your village, they... You know, you can build walls, too, but I don't know if it really explains everything, but that's all, I can always explain the concept of walls and for, more fortifications, so... But let me uh, upgrade my... Since I have some cavalry, you know, uh... Oh, man. Ah. God damn, I always get so low on resources. I uh, um... Hello. So... Hmm. With you. You know, why don't we make a nice little... Uh, let's, not, let's put a right, tower there. Extra protection. Just, okay, so we're getting there. I'm just trying to make this short and sweet. I don't think they really cover, like, building walls much, though. I mean, you can, you know, build, like, a wall. You know how that works. I'll just give you a... You, know, you know, that's kind of how you build a wall. I don't think they really explain that, though, but that's all right. Um, so I'm just building a wall, like, in the middle of the... Uh, huh. Okay. Hmm. Trying to upgrade this. He's ma making a wall there. You know, which is, at this point, I don't think it's necessary. More important than made a uh, siege workshop, so. Alright, um. Kid? Love, more kid. Of the power for Kid? 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 Trying to just save resources Bargain here, because I think. Love. You know, I'm. Okay. Kid? So, I think I'm gonna. Let's see if there's another place to. Um, hmm. We're, I need me more resources, but where is there another gold mine around here? Hmm. I don't know. That's all right. Um, well, I'll just make another farm. Um. So, hmm. what the heck? I'm going to make her a lumberjack, like, real close by. Oh, actually, duh. No, what I want to do is make a siege workshop. So that's what I came down here for. All right. Um, as for all these people, they're eventually going to run out of gold there. So is there another? Uh, no wonder I'm having trouble. This is tricky. It's like not many resources. You know. Huh. Well, um, however, there are a lot of... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Holy shit. I did not... I did not... I had more... Christ almighty. I had more, like... had more soldiers out here the whole time. Didn't even realize it. Huh. All good, Marketing. just as good. Um, all right, Airlock. let's get these guys over here. I think uh, uh, Bit fear. I can kind of drag. All right, so I didn't even realize that. Good job. Though. With your new siege workshop, you can make battering rams. Rams are slow, but they are resistant to arrow fire and excellent at knocking down walls. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, uh... Alright. Now, some enemy right here, but it was smart of me. I think it was pretty smart of me to, uh... Uh, make a nice little tower there, because it's making things a little easier. Matter of fact, let's put them in aggressive mode. Just, you know... Just, uh... 
uh, simultaneously, let's make some battle lands, which of course I don't have any damn. Uh, um, let me, I'm gonna bring all my people over here. Um, now nah, I'm gonna bring all my people over here. Get all the idle. Okay, well, let's get this here. This is what I mean, though. They're about to attack the gates, and that's they're gonna just get them themselves slaughtered. So, all right, um. So everybody's got to be in defensive mood because castles down here somewhere, but you know, they'll, they'll, you know, that's that's a, oh, soldiers can be dumb sometimes. They'll just like go smack right into an enemy castle, and that's a good way to lose like your entire army for real. All right, you know what? Um, so let's kill that damn uh, wolf or whatever the hell it is. Okay, um, but there's no other gold. All right, tell you what. Oh, we found stone. Okay, I think that's stone. Okay. Oh, that's wood. Never mind. Oh. I thought it was stone. It's wood. Get. So, but that's all right. Let's put a. First off, let's make a little, nice little mark. Oh, so, we won't have to go all the way back home to uh, click on my mark. All right. All right. So, um. Once I bought a mark, I'll just build a nice yeah. little. Uh, happy little lumber camp. <laughs> right here. Just close to. Uh, good grief, I don't have enough. God, man, oh man. Uh, Alright. Alright, so let's. Uh, oh, this game can be so silly sometimes. Alright, so. Yeah, let's put a. Alright, Lumber Camp right here. No, I'm sorry, it's a Mario Camp. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so let's build some battered rams. Of course, we don't have enough food. For, uh, oh. Wood, that is. I do have a lot of gold, though, so that's good. Alright, now we have. And let's, uh. Let's make two. Hopefully, two will be enough. And, uh. Maybe, perhaps I can upgrade, you know, the barracks. Uh, okay, this is good. Oh, okay, we have. That's good. We have enough. Um, oh, okay, cool. We have enough, you know, resources to upgrade everybody. That's great. Alright, well, we're just we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Have a good army. We can have a tower here. Like, see, my towers are automatically taking out that archer right there. So that was a wise move, I think. Okay, so what? Hey, uh, what the heck? Maybe it's all of a sudden we got a lot of resources, which is great. Alright, so, uh, got a little bit of an army. And Ron Wallace himself. Kid? Alright. Oh. Getting there, so. And by the way, once again, like, you know, the Celts, uh, Celts of Lumberjacks work, work faster. The Siege Weapons, actually, you know what, I can get Siege Weapons at fire, but that's all right. If I got, a, like, a Catapult, then, you know, that Siege Weapon, would build. you know, maybe I should do one Catapult, though, in that case. So, okay, I got Battle Rinds, but, uh, so this guy, one of these guys, okay. This guy here will anti-units. So, um, so how much is that going to cost? Uh, excuse me, a little bit of gold. Uh, since today, fire faster. Oh, okay, well, actually, this is even better. So, a little, little mini catapult. And, once again, like I said, you know, the Celts, the siege weapons fire was at 20% faster, so that's a little bit of a bonus, no doubt. Okay, so anyway, we're getting there, and this is the last mission, and... So let's get the battle rams. You don't want to try to attack this army with infantry because they'll they'll get slaughtered, you know. All right. So well, I mean, they can probably handle it, but just to, okay. Here we go. Oh boy, one guy after. So let's get the battle rams. Knock the gate down, and then uh, English castle shouldn't be that far off. So okay, here we go. Battle rams. A little hard to see, but that's all right. And so, who's my, uh, okay, and he's just died, so. Alright, the looks like the defenses are already crumbling. Nice. The defenses are already crumbling. And, uh, there we go. Alright, there we go. We, we are, we are, uh, we're in. Defenses have been smashed, so when would we go? We'd be breaching defenses. Uh oh, let's take care of this nasty old tower, though. And, uh, 
Let's get some of my guys in here. I got that damn archer. Uh oh. Uh. Alright. War as hell. That's uh okay, let's get another one of those things. Oh, we don't have enough resources. Good grief. Alright, so that's alright. Good thing I uh put my market fairly close by. Alright, uh, another one. Come on now. Alright, uh, another battle ram then. Um Alright. Of course you can use your infantry to you know, take out buildings, but uh, let's uh, look at them. I'm, I'm in really slow mode too right now, by the way. Just kind of, I right, but no need to go too slow, I guess. Let's just, I mean, the English are pretty much been bested, but uh, attacking the villagers just with anybody. But uh, and once again, I'm gonna put everybody in defense mode. So, all right, so uh, another battle, and maybe I can get another one of the catapults and. Uh, no, of course I need more gold, jeez. Uh, of course you can use that too, that's kind of an anti-unit more. Alright, so... So, uh, okay. Um... So, let's use my scout the castle to land your somewhere. Meanwhile, I'll just use... The, you know... Is that the barracks? Yeah. Use the battle ramps to take that. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm, where the hell is the castle? It's not too far off, I think. Well, actually, maybe it's down here. Oh, I think it's where the flags are. Um, alright. Just use my scalp to, uh... Alright, here we go. Should be around here, I think. Where the hell is the castle, man? There's a town center, of course. What you know, I'm not playing a standard game. You not only have to knock down castles, but, you know, knock down the town centers. Because town centers would, uh, would uh, pretty much make the villagers and get all the resources. So knock that, in a standard game, knock down that damn town center uh, to ultimately win. But where the hell is the castle, though? Is it, uh, uh, I'm just going to use my scout to... Come on. matter of fact, maybe I should... Uh, Take out the town center to make the uh, game a little. Hate to kill innocent villagers, but where the hell is the castle, though? Come on now. I'm getting a little frustrating. I'm like, the castle's got a. Alright. Good God, man. Where's the damn castle? It's frustrating. I thought it was closer by, but uh, I'm playing some. Alright, come on, castle. Show up, castle. God's sakes, man. It's getting a little ridiculous. Ah, uh, alright. Where is that damn castle? Oh, this is getting annoying. <laughs> I thought the castle was a lot closer and said proven to be a little elusive, like it's fucking hiding from me. Oops, sorry, pardon my language. Just 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 getting a little frustrating, that's all. Meanwhile, um I'm not just playing all my guy other guys here. Attack the town center. Okay, trying to find the damn castle, wherever the hell it is. Ah, come on, man. What? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Alright, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just about... I think the British really have been beat. You know, the castle is... I mean, I'm sorry, the town center's gone. Trying to find the damn castle, wherever the hell it is. I'm not having much luck, and it's just getting annoying. Come on, man. I, I could have sworn the castle was closer, and I'm not having any luck finding it. Where the hell is the castle? This is getting the... Oh, here it is. I found it. There it is. Son of a bitch. No wonder I couldn't find the damn thing. It's kind of just... All right, I found the castle. All right. For some reason, just... <laughs> All right. Let's go over there, then. This is it. This is it. This is the moment of truth, the moment of reckoning. Just uh, destroy the damn castle, and that's it. Um, maybe get some more battle rams too. Oh, never mind. All right, so let's get first off. All right, there we go. 
Everybody get an aggressive move. As a matter of fact, everybody attack the damn castle. Uh oh. The castle's not messing around, yo. See what I mean? See, some of my units are really. I'll put it in slow mode, too. Nice. Uh, come on. What the hell? Fucking rams, man. Alright, there we go. See what I mean, though? It's really wrecking half of my forces. Alright, but we're getting there. We are getting there. You can see the castle can be very dangerous, but that's okay, I got... Alright, castle's almost gone now, but oof, look how much... It's gone! That's it! That's it! That's it. I hope. The English oh. castle at Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. Yes, there we go. The, that's it. That was a final mission. That was it. And you can see, though, castles can be dangerous. Because, like, look how many uh, of my units got killed off, though. So, sometimes you got to be really careful when it's sold in the castle. Because don't just put all your army guys. Because they'll be wiped out just like that. And it's good to have siege weapons like battered rams later on in period age. Like these tre 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 treacher bolts, whatever they call them. Like these big catapults. So, anyway. So, that's a final mission. That's it. You now know everything about the game. But let's... Uh, uh, the final story. So, okay, leave map, and uh, here we go. It looks certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious. Now, the English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one shall be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he is but one man, he inspires great deeds in others. Many of the Scottish knights and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forced of course in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, for we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who will fear. Alright, so that's it. That is pretty much the, that was the last, uh, the last congratulations. You now know how to play the game. That was the final mission of Willem Wallace. Hopefully you controlled him in that one mission, that was it. But, that's okay. It was all good fun, so hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed in, in the future. So now that the Willem Wallace is done, next I think I'm going to play Joan of Arc campaigns. Give me a quick little preview. So this is Joan of Arc. You know, the Joan of Arc. So I played a few of them already, but that's all right. You know, but it tells the story of Joan of Arc. That will be next in the list. So later on, after Joan of Arc, play, you know, other missions. Like, look at all these missions. Like, there's so much. I mean, like, wow. You know, um, like, uh, eventually I'll play this one, but this is just like... Yeah, the Holy Roman Empire, of course, and summon uh, uh, Genghis Khan, of course, the Genghis Khan campaign. So, um, you know, just so much history in this game. It's just amazing. A thousand years of history. Like I said, here's America, um, Aztec's Empire, you know, um, was a, a, and of course, Africa, you know, can't forget that. Here's Africa, here's a particularly interesting one, Saladin takes place in the Holy Land. So very interesting stuff. So anyway, um, hope you all enjoyed. And uh, oh, I don't know why it's got that there. I don't know, like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, hope you all enjoyed. And, you know, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And like I said, that is pretty much it for the Wilm Wallace campaign. You're all done. If you've been watching the videos, you know, know how to, now know how to play. But if you have any questions, just ask me. Because even the tutorial, I, don't, I guess it didn't explain every single, even like the... Imperial Age didn't really explain a lot, but it's kind of, you know the basics. I mean, I would say you know like 98% of the game, so it, the toy, it, this campaign's really good. And if you have the game, you can always play Will and Wallace yourself and explains everything great. So, alright, well thanks for watching, uh, thanks for watch, watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I, think, I don't know if it explained the trade card thing, but that's alright, I can always, if you have, anybody has a questions about the trade card, going between allies and markets which I don't use I don't use the trade card a lot just ask me email me Facebook me come here on YouTube and comment but hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and happy game happy gaming from David D. Gamer adios all hope you enjoyed take care